Yes, Vortex, it's really, really important to have things that you feel like are yours. Those things belong to you. And I always felt that way about music. And any music lover can attest to that sentiment. You know, Annie Clark, you know, probably the best artist right now. That's St. Vincent, okay? She was talking about that, how, you know, any time that she was a, a fan of a record, she felt like that record belonged to her. And, yeah, because it, it becomes a part of you, you know? And, and if we looked at things like that, I feel like our world would be a lot better. I think that the only way to look at the world right is to look at it artistically. I think that one of the biggest problems is that everybody wants to apply logic to everything. And yeah, I know that this this constant emotionalism isn't working, but like, there's a balance, you know? Logically, it makes sense to express yourself. Emotionally, it makes sense to express yourself. So when you do things that make sense both logically and emotionally, that's probably the most ideal way to live your life. But unfortunately, everybody's so hung up on like living their life in some boring ass, cookie cutter kind of way and doesn't really seem to be satisfactory to anybody which is why they have to keep defending it all the time you know but there are some people in my actual life but you know people people on the internet that really really understand this and congratulations Congratulations for being in the tiniest sliver of the population. <laughs> you know, somebody had mentioned to me, well, they're just jealous. They're jealous because they can't acquire what you have, so they have to, like, rip it apart. Well, the ones that actually say anything, that's true. Most of them don't say anything, they just bounce. Because they just can't take it. Oh, hey. I was like, who the fuck? I'm coming, it's chilling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye, beautiful. Bye, adios. That's one of the Latinos that's obsessed with me. I'll put up with sexual harassment if that means that he's going to kill somebody that's trying to kill me. I can rely on him for that shit. If there was somebody that came to this restaurant to try to kill me, he would fucking destroy him. That's the thing, I, I was thinking about this today. How like women complain about a man that mistreats them sometimes. Honey, if he treats you right, even a quarter of the time, you should stay with him. Because he can protect your dumb ass. He can protect you, he can provide for you, and he can take care of you. That's why you should put up with his shit. And he has to listen to you talk, right? I mean, that's way worse way worse. I hear women talk. I don't know how my dad has put up with my mom for this long. I think he's just stubborn. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I'm a funny person because I have self-awareness. I'm a misogynist because I know how women are and they don't have awareness of how annoying they are and, and how they are totally oblivious to that. And they're oblivious to a lot of things, okay? So they're too emotional. And they haven't applied the logic and reason to their emotions like I have. And no, I'm not superior. I mean, there's no way to have this conversation without sounding like a piece of shit. There's no way to have this conversation without sounding like you're a narcissist and you think you're better than everybody else. But anybody that's done work on themselves is clearly living a better life than somebody that hasn't. So if I can make a case for anything, it would be living a better life. Not, you know, feeling superior to people because, you know, I, I really don't. I just feel sorry for people that that don't have that level of awareness as to like how they come across and how their actions are negatively impacting them. And if they're negatively impacting you, like 
they're probably negatively impacting other people. But especially people that are close to you, like people that you're fucking or people that you're bringing into this world because you're fucking, you know? So, that's what I'm saying, man. Maybe I am the way after all.